Hey everybody, how's it going? Well, it's officially November. Winter's right around the corner, so Halloween is officially over. I hope everybody had fun. Uh, what do you like best about Halloween? Do you like dressing up? Do you like getting scared? One of my favorite parts is, you guessed it, the candy. I love organizing the candy that my kids get. So you can see over here I have all my chocolate stuff like my Snickers and my Twix. And then over here I have all my sweet stuff like the Starburst and the Lollipops and the Skittles. Now, if I were not a smart person and I gave in to my desires, I could sit here and it might take me a while, but I could eat all of this candy. I mean, I could just knock through all of this stuff and the sweet stuff too. Now, it might feel good while I'm doing it. It may taste great, but boy, I tell you, if I sat here and ate all of this candy just because I wanted to, oh, my teeth would hurt. My poor tummy would be so upset for probably a few hours and it would be really unhealthy for me to do that too. Now, I am listening to my Holy Spirit in me telling me, Heather, it's just not the right thing to eat all this candy. Well, not only is it gluttonous and greedy because it's just so much and I don't need it, uh, but it's very unhealthy for my body as well. So just like the people in our lives, whether it's our parents or grandparents or our guardians or our friends or family, whoever God has blessed us with and the authority figure in our lives, they're there to help us learn right from wrong, right? How to make those decisions of what's right right, and what's wrong. Now, God also has gifted us with the ultimate authority figure being the Holy Spirit that he left for all of us. And this Holy Spirit lives inside us. It's that little voice sometimes in your brain or in your heart that says not to do something or to do something. And that Holy Spirit is a way of internal guidance and support from God as a voice for all of us and to help us. So I really encourage you to listen to that Holy Spirit inside you and to study more about how to learn and or how to get to know the Holy Spirit that you were gifted with and how to listen to it most importantly. And to remember that there's going to be times that we want to do things and boy they may seem fun but could you imagine how I would feel after eating all this chocolate oh, and all these sweets. Oh. Now, like I said, it may feel good at first, but I think I would regret it in the end. So I'm glad that my Holy Spirit guides me and tells me what's right and what's wrong. So I encourage you to listen to your Holy Spirit because what I'm going to do is I'm going to take two pieces out of this. Let's see. I'm going to have an Almond Joy and ooh, a Twix bar. And then I'm going to take all the rest of this candy and I'm going to put it away because it wouldn't be nice of me to eat it all to myself. And I think Mark would be very upset if I ate all this candy. And it wouldn't be healthy for me either. So I'm going to do the right thing and I'm going to put it away and I'm going to have two pieces a day. Now there's a lot of verses in the Bible about things in moderation and how God helps us with our choices. So I narrowed it down to two really good ones. So we have, first we have Galatians 5, 6. Now this tells us, but I say, walk by the spirit and you will not gratify the desires of the flesh. So walk by your spirit, listen to the Holy Spirit. And then Corinthians right after, 1 Corinthians 6, 19. Or do you not know that your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit within you, whom you have from God? And you know, we were only given one body, one brain, one heart, most of us. So take really good care of it, okay? Because God blessed you with it. Now I've got some stuff to do, but before I go, let's pray about it. Dear God, thank you so much for leaving us your Holy Spirit and for giving us something to help us learn right from wrong. And most importantly, God, how to follow you. Thank you for the path that you built for all of us to walk. And most importantly, thank you for loving us when we step off that path. In your son's name, I pray all these things. Amen. Everybody have a good day.